Now to Wrigley Field, Chicago, where the Bears thwart a fourth period Pittsburgh rally and defeat the Steelers in a National Football League thriller. Early in the first quarter, it's the Bears' third play from scrimmage. Lou Jack is back for the pass. The pass is complete to J.R. Boone, and he scampers to the Steelers' 36 before he's down. The Bear march continues. Now in the Pittsburgh 20, again it's Johnny Lujak looking for a receiver. Judy Rakovich is all alone at the line of scrimmage. He takes the Lujak toss and goes all the way for a touchdown as the Bears take an early 7-0 lead. Now the Steelers, deep in their own territory, call on Joe Gary. His pass is away to Albie Nickel, who's up to the Steelers, 35 and a first down. Second quarter now, with the ball at midfield. Let's watch this Gary to Nickel combination pay off. Gary's rushed, but he gets it away. Far downfield, Albie Nickel takes it on the 20 and outruns George McAfee to the end zone. And now the score reads Pittsburgh 7, Chicago 7. It's a seesaw battle here today, and now the Bears appear to be on the march. That marksman, Johnny Lujak, is back for another toss. He gets it away. Jim Keane takes it on the 45 and is run out of bounds at midfield. There's Lou Jack again on a fake handoff, baiting way back for this one. Here's the pass coming towards us. Huffman makes a nice catch and moves all the way to the Steeler six before he's pushed out. The drive continues, and with but three yards to go, Lou Jack hands the ball off to Hoffman, who powers his way through center for the score. Chicago 14, Pittsburgh 7. We're in the third quarter now, and Johnny Lou Jack calls on J.R. Boone. Up the middle he goes, right through the Steelers secondary for 21 yards to put the ball in the Pittsburgh 25. The ground attack continues as Hoffman blasts his way down to the five. And a quick opener, Jules Rakovich powers over, and the Bears now lead 23 to 7. Near the end of the third period, the Steelers take to the air. Joe Gary gets it away, and it's intercepted by George McAfee. He's hit, and watch him roll over and over for that extra yardage. On the second play of the fourth quarter, Rakovich goes over, and the Bears take a commanding 30-7 lead. The Steelers try to get going. Bobby Gage on a reverse is trapped and is thrown for a 20-yard loss, but gets set for a thriller. With the ball on the Steelers' three-yard line, Bobby Gage starts to run the ball out. He's around end and heading down the sidelines. Watch this rookie speed merchant turn on the steam. He sprints 97 yards from scrimmage to tie the league record. And what a run that was. Score, Bears 30, Pittsburgh 14. After the touchdown, the Steelers kick off. The ball is gathered in by Ed Cody. Up the field he comes. He's hit hard and fumbles. George Papich recovers for the Steelers. On the next play, Gage on a reverse pass spots L.B. Nickel in the clear. Nickel picks up 30 yards before he's pushed out of bounds. On the very next play, Bobby Gage from a tailback swings around right in behind beautiful blocking and goes over for his second touchdown within 43 seconds. But it is not enough as the Bears win 30 to 21.